structures, governance, uh, opportunities for consolidation. The water supply study that we're talking about here um, is, is a much more detailed technical analysis about the reliability of water. How reliable are these supplies in single dry years, multiple dry years, uh, average years? It relies on, on um, additional information or, or it analyzes additional information that typically the MSR is not going to cover. Now, admittedly, the MSR does have some valuable information that you could use to accelerate and minimize the cost of the, of the water supply study. Maybe 30 to 40, maybe up, up to 50 percent of the information could come from the MSRs if they were done. Um, I think probably the best way to look at it in this instance is that doing the water supply study while the cost is on the county instead of the districts will make the MSRs better and will ultimately accelerate that process. And maybe there is an opportunity for the county to get some sort of financial credit from LAFCO through this. Do the MSRs need to be done in order to do the water supply study? The answer is no, because much of the information that's in the MSR is also in an existing document. It's called a Drinking Water Adequacy Assessment Report done by Department of Health Services. And in fact, the scope of work for this water supply study it doesn't even rely on the MSRs because there was a feeling that we would, we would certainly not see those, those that information would not be available in that form. And so it was set up so that a big chunk of the information that you could get from the MSRs will come from the drinking water adequacy assessment. So that's, that's the, um, the short answer in terms of the relationship between the two. I know it is a very expensive project, $100,000. Um, I don't know what to say about that other than it's frustrating just to see how expensive any consultant project is becoming. Um, it's a, but then again, it's frustrating to see that gas costs four dollars and thirty cents a gallon too. So, so with that, if there are questions, I think I'll just field the questions. Supervisor Smith. Thank you. Um, I think Roland, you partially answered my question. I think there was concern uh, amongst board members when we discussed this previously that. Uh, we didn't want to see this be a duplicative effort. If the MSRs w needed to go forward, were going forward, was there a way to sort of piggyback with that, making this perhaps a less costly item? Or, And so I think you partially uh, addressed that in that if this is an expeditious way to gather some of the data that's useful for the MSRs, would there be a way that the county could recoup some of the costs for expediting the MSRs. We'll have to see. But um, I think that that was a concern that a number of board members had. I know I did in terms of hearing that MSRs for water in the Ukiah Valley were probably going to be ready in draft form by October. You know, just trying for cost containment yeah. here, trying to see if any of that would be able to be, be a coordinated effort, if you will. So that's, that's my comment on, on your comments, yeah. and if you have anything else to add. And the second thing is, um, was, this your, um, was this your personal and individual selection and choice for the consultant? I mean, do you agree with this recommendation? I do agree with the recommendation. Let me, let me just okay. first back up. Um, with respect to the MSRs, there's no denying that there is a certain amount of duplication of effort here. Um, and, and it's unfortunate, but, but it's just the reality of the situation here. Um, the fact that, that the water supply study will go first, I think the positive spin on it is that, okay, it will accelerate the um, at least part assemblage of part of the MSR. So um, from a public standpoint, there, there is you know, some, some additional benefit here. Uh, as far as the recommendation, it was my recommendation to go with Westulis, and I realized they were the most expensive consultant. And the reason, a couple of, of things um, with respect to Westulis. First off, they were certainly the most responsive and, and most complete in, in their proposal. I think, unfortunately, uh, some of the other consultants did not do enough homework, did not necessarily um, appreciate some of, the, some of the peculiarities of this area politically and, and data availability-wise, and, and perhaps were a little bit naive in, in their proposals. Uh, the other thing is that what I liked about Wes Yost was, was the proposal was realistic in the sense that, hey, this, 
there is going to be a lot of public discussion and, and, and public um, uh, scrutiny. scrutiny, thank you, of, of, of this document. And there will be a need to bring the consultant in, perhaps in a public meeting, for example. Um, this information needs to get incorporated into the EIR. And instead of a consultant simply, here's your report, see you, it's like, OK, there is an element there to help make sure that that information is brought into the EIR in, in an efficient manner. And I think had we not I mean, you, you could exclude that from this contract, but you're either going to pay for it on the EIR side or through another contract amendment. So my feeling was that, yeah, this contract is certainly more, it was about $18,000 more than what I would consider the next best proposal. But I think it was more realistic in, in that, face it, you know, you you're going to, you know, you can pay, you can come in there with, I'll call it the Trojan horse, like coming from a consulting background, the Trojan horse, you wheel in a, a low ball bid, and, and then you just do the add-ons to get it back up to what you need. And I think that's kind of what we'd be looking at. So rather than come back in, 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 in a couple of months and say, okay, well, now we need another 20K, it's like, what's well, it is what it is. Thank you. So. Supervisor Pinch. Uh, in task two, it says the assess the surface water rights. Now, you're looking into, and actually, we're going to have a report by the end of August on the uh, Boy Scouts Lake facility. And, and right. that is a, a water supply that certainly would benefit the Ukiah Valley as a potential. Potentially, benefit. yeah. So, will that be, I mean, where does it fit in? Yeah, well, it fit in. That will be because that is a. It's not a water district project, basically a county project. So that will fit into this. And and yes, and where it fits in is in the analysis. One of the components are well, what potential future water supply sources are out there, and what is the magnitude, what is the reliability, what is the yeah. characteristics of it, and that's where the Boy Scout thing fits yeah. in. And I guess that's where I have a problem with this West Yost Associates because they were retained by the city of Willits to look at water sources and they looked at the boy scouts lake and totally overlooked the, the fact that, it, that the lake could be raised and so i think that was a uh, a huge mistake on their part when they were paid a lot of money by the city of willis to look for a water source and they were pointed in that direction and, and completely overlooked it and now here we are the county looking at it as yeah. a project so i mean I hope they don't make the same. Uh, f that was a basic fundamental mistake, in my opinion. Personally, I was sort of surprised that the city didn't pr pursue raising of the consider because looking at that option. The study that the West Yost Associates never brought that up, and they never brought up raising the lake. And I don't know what the scope of their study was, or what they were directed to look at, or not. So, um, you know, it may very well be that the city. I don't know what direction well, they, they got from the city. Well, they were supposed to look for potential water so new water sources sure. in the city of Willits. And they went up there and were told it's sent in that direction. And then they totally never even acknowledged that, hey, this lake has a possibility of being raised. Yeah, that I, was, was, again, that, I, that was a fun. I mean, if you're going to do a water analysis and supply studies and you take something that somebody pointed you in a direction to and showed, showed you and then you completely overlooked it, to me that was a, 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 major, a major mistake. I, I, I certainly agree that, it, that um, it's something that warrant looking into, but again, 